one of the things you might run into when using hubs and bringing objects into your scene is vastly differing performance. You may find that uh, sometimes you bring in an object and it performs just perfectly and it loads really quickly and nobody has a problem. But then you might another time hear that um, some of the people who are looking at your scene are having a lot of trouble, they're struggling with their frame rate, things aren't going so smoothly. And today we're going to take a look at some of the things that can cause that, particularly the number of textures and materials that things use. So in this scene, um, this is a pretty basic scene, but uh, I've loaded in an object over here that is seemingly pretty complex. Um, and this model uh, actually isn't that many polygons, and it's not a lot of textures either. And one of the things you'll take a look at is down in the bottom corner of your hubs window is a tiny, tiny little uh, text that says uh, how many frames per second you're getting. There's FPS next to it and a number that sort of keeps changing dynamically as you move around or look around. And by clicking on this number, you can actually open up a much more detailed view of statistics for the scene. Now, this is showing a whole lot of stuff about physics and how many triangles and all kinds of things. Um, but the thing that we're looking at today is this thing underneath the red stripe that says triangles. Um, there is one thing that says calls on it. Um, and what those are are draw calls. You may have heard this term before if you've used Unity or Unreal Engine or some other game engine. Um, but what this is referring to in a nutshell is how many times your graphics processor has to receive information about what to draw. This uh, in, right now is displaying nine draw calls in the direction that I'm looking. But you'll notice as I move around that number, it just changed to 10. Um, now it's down again, uh, quite lower. And there's a number of things that cause this to happen um, based on what's in the scene, whether there's UI on the screen, stuff like that. Um, but let's take a look as I move around to another model that I've loaded. Um, this one is seemingly simple, but watch the calls spike. They just went up to 163. Why is that? Let's take a look at this object. Now, when I look at this object up close, there's not a whole lot that tells me why it should be so bad. I mean, if you look at the number of polygons, it doesn't seem crazy. Um, but at the same time, it's causing 162 draw calls to happen when I'm facing this way. Now, it's not all a result of this model. Um, there's already draw calls like five or uh, how many is that? Nine draw calls that way. But this really bumps it up. And a lot of things can cause that, but one of the biggest ones is the number of materials and textures that an object is using. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold my spacebar down and click open link to look at this model in Sketchfab. So this is called low poly UFO scene. Well, that's a good clue that it's probably not too many polygons. Um, and if I scroll a little bit in the window, I can look and see there are 40,000 triangles. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call this low poly, but it's not out of control, not in the millions or anything like that. Um, and if you look a little bit closer next to the triangle count down here, there's a link that says more model information. And when you click that, it will tell you a little bit more about uh, this object. Now, in this case, this actually has no textures at all. Everything on this model was created by using just different colors um, in the materials themselves, but there are 22 of them. There are 22 materials on this object. So that translates to a lot of draw calls. Now, this would be a harder one to fix mostly because you'd have to recolor all the parts using a texture. Um, but you can also get a closer look within Sketchfab. They have some nice tools. Uh, there's a button in here called Model Inspector that will open up a side panel and let you turn on things like seeing the different materials and seeing how it looks with or without post-processing, which is a fancy thing that Sketchfab does to make things look nice. Um, but up at the top, you can turn on the wireframe of the model we can see, yeah, it's not crazy. There are a few things on here that I would advise against doing, like modeling letters out of uh, squares like this. But 
Um, yeah, this one's a bit of a surprise in, in how expensive it is. Now I'm going to go over to another model um, that would be a little easier to fix because it is made of a bunch of textures. This is called Town Wall. It is a model by Avelina. And this is a nice model. It would make a great uh, basis for a hub scene. If we look at it a little closer, we can see it's only 16,000 triangles. Um, and a lot of the detail is not actually coming from the geometry itself. A lot of the detail is coming from the textures. So that's kind of a clue here. Let's take a look at the model inspector. Uh, turn on the polygons. We can see oh, it's, it's a nicely made model. It's very efficient. Not a lot of extra detail where there doesn't need to be. Let's look at the more model information below and take a look at how many textures it's using. Wow, it's the download size is 65 megabytes. That feels really big for something so simple. Then we take a look a little further down and we see the number of textures is 37. 37 unique textures on this model. Now some of those might be uh, different channels like the roughness or how metallic surfaces are, things like that. But in general, that's a red flag. That many textures is not going to load very well into hubs. And once it's in there, it's going to be a lot of draw calls. So how do we fix a model that has too many textures? I'll show you how in Blender. 